What's good? It's your boy Fonz, and I'm back with another video alone this time. Um, if you already read the title, you already know what we're about to get into, so make sure you stay tuned. Again, if you already read the, the title, you already know, you know, what what this is going to be about. Um, so I've done Ancestry, uh, I want to say I did it about two years ago when I first did the, the test. The reason why I wanted to do it was because growing up, um, I just get picked on a lot for my size because I'm really short. I'm about 5'3". Uh, so I used to get picked on a lot and um, because I was short and I always thought that I got my, you know, um, my shortness from my mother. Really much, someone said my mother was like four foot something. Um, so, you know, I was just considered that. And um, growing up, um, you know, the person I was actually named after, um, who I thought was my father at the time, um, he was pretty tall, he was like six something. I didn't look anything like him. Um, and you know, people used to just make jokes like, you know, you're short, you know, um, what, do you, what do you mix with? Are you Chinese? Are you um, Spanish? Like, what are you? So I ended up doing the ancestry tests and um, for say, I actually, um, encouraged my, my little brother um, and my sister, who was a twin, and my her, her twin, which is my other brother and sister, I encouraged them to do it. Uh, so they did it as well, and we all got our results back around the same time. Um, so um, when I did mine, I discovered a lot of, I discovered a lot of things um, about myself and um, my brother and sister. So me and my brother, baby brother, supposedly had the same dad, but everyone knew that it wasn't my actual biological father. Um, and like I said, I always, you know, told myself, I don't look like this person, um, but I'm named after this person. So it was a bit confusing for me growing up. Um, so taking this test, I discovered that with me and my brothers, um, like my brother, they said that we were supposed to have the same dad and it showed that we were like half brothers, half siblings or whatever. And um, my sister with the twin, she took it as well. And it's discovered that we were half siblings, but we don't have the same dad, which we already know. Um, so then I'm like, well, who's my father? And my sister years ago discovered this letter that my mom had and um, the letter contained like a, a letter that she wrote to her then at the time boyfriend who I know um, and um, he was in my life for some time like he pretty much um, what I remember he used to ride motorcycles he used to like take us places he used to babysit us when my mom wasn't there um, or when my mom was going to work and things like that. So I remember him a bit. My sister remembered him. Um, and I kind of built this bond with this person. Um, so after my, my aunt adopted me and my, my brother, we lost track. And, um, you know, I came up in my head that my biological father wasn't my father. Um, I was on the quest of trying to find my actual father. And um, eventually I found my mom's boyfriend at the time. And um, we ended up talking and stuff like that. And, you know, he just told me the story of like how when I was first born, um, he asked my mother if um, I was um, his kid. And um, pretty much, you know, my mom, he said my mom was like, no, 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 that's not your kid. Um, and Eventually, he said he didn't want to get a test, and I was telling him about my ancestry, 
um, results and um, how it brought up a lot of European blood. So I had, um, well, for starters, I had 23% Nigerian, um, I'm 23% Cameroon, Congo, 20% Mali, 7% Ben and Togo, um, and then I'm 6% English uh, in Northwestern uh, Europe. I am 4% Scottish, 3% Senegal, 3% Ghana, I'm 2% French, 2% Bantu, 1% Portuguese, 1% uh, Eastern Europe and uh, Russia, and then I'm 5% Irish. So none of my brothers and sisters didn't have the um, this European stuff. And um, I was just curious, so I, I did ask because the person who I was, you know, I think it was my mom's boyfriend at the time. Um, like I said, he he confronted my mom and was like, you know, look, um, you just had a baby and we've been, you know, dating and things like that. You know, um, it's just my kid, and then he said he just you know left it at that, and um, you know he split my mom's word. So, um, you know, we reconnected, and uh, I kind of discussed that. And he was like, "Well, you know, I am biracial. I do have European in me, and um, you know, African or whatever." Um, and I believe he said he was more specific with like he's like his mother was Italian. So they're from Italy, so I'm like, well, my didn't really say that with, so the thing about ancestry, it doesn't go into like depth of like, you know, you come from this region or that region. Um, and, you know, I was like, hey, you know, would you like to get a test? Like, I I, I, I just want to, you know, nip some book because I'm like, I'm really trying to find, find my father. And he was like, no, I don't want to take a test because I feel like I asked your mom and, you know, she did, she said no. So. You know, I feel like that's gonna paint a bad picture in their head. They just want to leave it where it was, um, and which I, I understand. I get it. You know, at first I was kind of angry because I'm like, I, I want to know, um, but you know, you can't force someone. Um, so I just left it at that. It was like this person's my father, but it is what it is, um, and so I just left it alone. And I met this person, like I said, I did the test like two years ago or whatever. And I was chatting with um, this one girl who popped up on my uh, my ancestry and they said we we're close cousins or whatever. Um, and she, uh, her name was Brittany. So I, uh, I was chatting for her. It's been about a year and a half, two years, I believe. And um, she was like, you look like my family. Like, like you really look like my family. I was like, well, this is the person who I think is my father. Um, my mother was this, she didn't know my mom's side, and she was like, I have to be probably connected on your dad's side, um, but I just don't don't know, but I can say, like, you look like my mom's side, and you look like my dad's side, so it's really hard, but she was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to help you out, let me see what I can do, um, and um, we just been chatting, um, and things like that, we couldn't really find anything, um, until recently, someone else popped up on my ancestry, and um, uh, I noticed that they were connected with the same one, um, woman that was um, that said we could be between first cousin. They don't give you the, the, the exact relation to this person. They give you like a, a percentage rate of like it's a fifty percent chance that this could be your brother. It's a fifty percent chance that this could be your uncle. Um, but all the close relatives, they put them in the category of like, these are people you're, you know, um, who are close to you. And then it goes down from like second cousin, third cousin, fourth cousin, and so on. Um, so she was underneath my brother, my siblings. She was right underneath their Brittany, um, the first woman. And then recently, um, uh, another cousin of mine had reached out that I was thinking was on my father's side. And um, I seen that they were connected with Brittany, and I seen that um, they were connected um, in, in the Tampa, Florida area, which I reside in, where my family came from. Um, well, I'm guessing on my father's side, my mother's side. Um, a lot, I've seen a lot of people who um, 
we're from like South Carolina, which is where my family migrated from on my mother's side from Anderson, South Carolina. And I've seen a lot of holders. And I recently discovered that my the holder family, which is my grandfather um, side of the family, they migrated from um, Barbados. Um, so I've seen a lot of holders. Um, and um, so I'm like, yeah. She was like, uh, so the, 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 the new person reached out to me who I think is potentially um, one of my cousins, um, so that we just like second, we could be second cousin. So she's reaching out, she's, uh, she's like, you look like my family. Um, and I was like, oh really? I, I see you connected with Brittany, um, which is like, weird. she's trying to help me figure out who my father could be. She was like, she started sending me pictures. She said like, you really resemble my cousin, um, Chuck and uh, so she sent me a picture and like I was like oh okay I, I see that I, I can definitely see that and uh, then uh, she said and, um, like his father uh, Charles so she sent me a picture of them she, she sent me the link to their social media and she, um, I was like wow I, I see that um, so I, I just started sending her some information about myself and she just you know was like well maybe they may have some insight because they look more like you maybe they knew your mom um, maybe you know you're related somehow like and, and, you know you're pretty much close up there like even seeing that you're my second cousin so I'm like yeah so she reached out to them um, and uh, she ended up providing them uh, providing me with their number um, so I call um, I call um, Charles and I'm like, yeah, um, you know, this was my mom. Um, <clears throat> so um, right off the bat, he said that name sounded familiar. Um, and uh, but he wasn't, you know, for sure. He asked me um, when I was born. I said '93. So like, okay. And then um, he was like, "Well, you have any pictures?" And um, I started sending him pictures of me. Um, I guess um, my second cousin, who I connected with, um, show, um, showed him pictures, and um, and he was like, "Yeah, I seen those pictures, and he resembled my son." And um, then, um, as it went on, um, I sent him a picture of my mother, and he said, "Wow, like your mother looks familiar." But the picture I sent him was kind of old. So then I sent him another one. I sent him a picture of me and my mother when I was a baby. And that picture was more clear. And he was like, like he just like froze. And he was just like, wow. Like I, I remember your mom. Um, and your mom used to talk back in the day. And um, he was like, what year were you born again? I it was like 93. And he was like, yeah, that was just around the time where, you know, I was just getting out of relationship. Um, I started seeing your mother, and um, you know that was that, and you know we just lost contact. Um, so I don't know. I just felt like a lot of weight um, just kind of like fall off of me because it was like you know for so long um, I you know tried to you know find my father, you know try to see where I came from, and um, I thought it was gonna be an issue. Because of my, you know, I recently got married to my um, my partner of six, seven years, um, and uh, I'm gay. We're gay, so you know, I ended up. Uh, he started <laughs> asking questions of like, so do you have kids? Uh, are you um, married? Are you have a girlfriend? And I'm like, I kind of froze. I was just like, I'm like, should I tell him? Um, so I, I, my, my partner. He has a husband. He has a husband. And I'm like, yeah, I have a husband. And I'm, you know, I'm married. He was like, that's cool. That, that, you know, he was like, thank you for sharing that. Um, and his, uh, his fiance was also on the phone. And she was like, yeah, like, it's okay. We accept, you know, everyone. We accept you for who you are. And, you know, um, we appreciate you, you know, sharing that with us. So they were definitely um, welcoming, sweet people. Um, on the phone, um, and I told my aunt, uh, my aunt, like I said, raised me since I was seven after my mom passed away, and my aunt has always been all there, she's always been protective of me, she's been with me through the process of, 
you know, trying to locate my father um, of like me trying to discover myself. And um, so I've always wondered those things. So I ended up telling her um, and she mentioned, you know, um, you know, I just want you to be, uh, be safe and, um, you know, you know, what if it isn't your father? You know, what if, what if it is? You know, does he want to take a test? Because she's seen me go through that battle with, you know, other people. Um, so, you know, I was like, you know, this person looks like me. I feel like this is, you know, my father. So she did say, you know, he does look like you, you know, a lot. He resembles you a lot. Um, and uh, um, I was telling her I was gonna, um, we ended up meeting. Um, we went to this place in Tampa. It's uh, Miller's Ale House. And um, he ended up uh, buying us some drinks. We ate. Um, um, and my cousin, one of my cousins who connected with me and my ancestry, uh, ended up coming as well. And uh, come to find out, that's actually his niece. So her, her mother, and him are brothers and sister. Um, and the other person that I was kind of with, my cousin, she didn't come, but um, that was actually uh, his niece as well. Um, so. You know, just to kind of see that, like, it was, like, confirmation. Um, and uh, uh, Brittany, she actually made a joke. She was like, you know, all this time I was trying to help him, you know, find his father or try to discover it because, you know, I said he was in Tampa. He was from Tampa, and uh, he was trying to find his father. But I, I didn't have no ins real insight on that because we couldn't connect with side of the family he was on. So she made this joke. She was like, all along, I was trying to help him. And then you were the, you were the, uh, his father the whole time. Out of Peppy! <laughs> you know, we just laughed and just had fun. Um, so, you know, since then we've just been talking um, about things. You know, it's just been right now we're in the stage of like um, getting to know one another. Um, I, I definitely see myself in him a lot so far. It hasn't been a while, a long time, but. You know, um, when we look alike, I, I see that we have the same personalities um, somewhat. And, you know, um, I recently also took a, um, a 23 me test just to get like a better understanding um, and more detail. Because like, with Ancestry, they don't go more to like depth of like, yeah, you're from this country, um, but part of this continent. Um, but you could be this, they just, here you could be possibly from here versus like with 23 Me, from the reviews I've been seeing, like it goes like if you're from Asia, your your sub, uh, sub margin, your, um, if you're from Asia, um, this is where you're from in Asia. So they go more into that versus what ancestors the DNA will probably say you're Asian, um, or what part of Asia. Um, so yeah, so that's been my experience. Um, I am still waiting for my results from 23 Me, but once I get them, I'll make sure I share with y'all so I can compare the results. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure <laughs> say hi. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe and um, share the video if you can. Um, before I go. I want to say if you're having doubts about um, ancestry and how it works or if it works or if it not, it works. It definitely works from the experience that I have. Um, like I said, the, the um, DNA might not be as active as far as like relatives and things like that, but it works. It connected me, my brother, so it's like I said, it's a and it matched us um, as half siblings or being related. Like I just said, the, um, my other two cousins uh, took it and it matched all, oh, and that's how I was able to find my, my father. So um, that's my story. And um, if there's any updates or anything else, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can 